Who have I just had a phone call from? The Mancy Beast. And what's happening? He needs your help. He's got a puncher, isn't he? And I'm posting one of them off. You're just posting that off to Jeff Cartwright, if yeah, I remember well rightly. Done. It's the first time he's ever won anything. What yeah. a drive to win. Well yeah, done. Well done, Jeff. The other chap ain't got in contact with me yet at the time of me making this video, Sharon, but I've got to go around and help him now. Well, it's still early and it's Saturday morning. Man, see, oh, got... quick, the post office is shut. He said, I've got a punch, he said. All right, let's go and yeah, get me down there. Shut. Baby. Oh, he's here, look. I'm pumping it up for him, look. Unbelievable. Uh, what? What you got there? Ah! Fuck me, that's, what, that's what's done it, look! Come off the bloody gate! Yeah. Giving himself the blinking puncher, folks! Giving himself a puncher! Look! Look, sitting look. in his drive, look. look! And that is the side! You've reversed out! I'm lucky he didn't do the front tyre as well! Unbelievable! Oh, there you go! So now I've got to take him, after we've done this, I've got to take him down to petrol station in Sleaford, which is 20, 20 miles away! You don't have to take me! Hey? Oh, I've got to come with you. Why? Well, I'm not... Oh, you've got to get out and pump it. Oh, yeah, all right, that's what happened, isn't it? Oh, that hurts. Hey? Yeah, look what I've seen. He's cleaned a bit of his van out, folks. Uh, see? Yeah. No, it's the other way round. Yeah, go on. <laughs> you look like a teddy bear with that on. I am, not I? Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> I'll let you set him, he's cleaned his van out a bit, folks. Look, you go, look. I've started. Oh, look, look, it's smooth. Look. I've started. Look, right. smooth, but when you do that, all he's done is push it back. <laughs> Well, <laughs> hey, smoke and mirrors, mate. Smoke, smoke and mirrors. mirrors. Yeah. Right. Whose shirt's today up there? Mine. Oh, you'd never get into them. Do you hang them up just to remember what you, how thin you used to be? I can fit into them. Of course you can. I can. All right. Why you got all I pitched for? Well, maybe two years ago. Yeah, I know. Look. He said, look, I have to clean it all out. And he, all he, I said, you just pushed it back. See, look, I go camping. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I'll take my posture. You dress up, don't you? I never wear it. No. I just stand like this. Yeah, well, you, you're like, not like, a hangy bear. Hey, look, you want to see a trick? Go on. Right, look, what's this? What's this? See that? Look. Watch. Yeah. See that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> look, look. Yeah. Uh, what you basically telling me is you've got a straight jacket on. Yeah, look, look. <laughs> I can't get beyond it. <laughs> anyway. So, let's look at this tyre pumped up. He's actually been doing a bit of filming as well. I've been looking for that, my extension. What have you got there? It's my extension, You've been thumbing it up again. What you... <laughs> show, here, show what you can do with it. What are you doing? Yeah, go on. Uh, show show him. No, show him something you can do with it. It's magic. Yeah, do something. He used to, every time we used to come down to the pub when we used to go to the pub years ago, folks, he used to be doing magic tricks. Trouble is, he, he does the trick and it's quite amazing when he does it but then he has to tell you how he's done it so everyone soon knows how he's doing his, how he does his tricks here look you're boring Sharon Sharon's going you right, baby come and watch this no she don't want to watch this come on in right go on in right, do, do something for these people right, right we're going to make this right disappear yeah okay all right yeah right yeah right. put it in right. there yeah right and I go like that you've got to poke it in yep and I'm still there isn't it yeah of course it right, is right right so we put it back in yep in here? Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hello, right. Sharon. How are you doing? Yeah, she's all right. She's watching from, uh, watching from behind. Right, ready? Yeah. I want you to blow. Blow. And oh, it's gone. Yeah. And then you do that, and everyone will be amazed. And then, you, then what would you do? You show them how it's done. You show them how it's done. How'd you do it? Show them. Show them. Show them. No, that's a trade secret. Show them now. I'm part of the magic triangle, mate. <laughs> I've lost it. You're the magic oblong. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll show you, I'll show you something else. Magic I'll it make, was Sharon, we're going through shapes till we get the right I'll one. Make, I'll make it come back. I'll make it come back, right? Look. Oh, lovely, yeah. Go on. Now to open your hand up, the other hand. Right? Right? Yep. 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 Go on. Yeah, what? Show him it now. You've already shown him it. There we go. There we go, folks. <laughs> That's the trick. He stuffs it into his little false thumb, look. You like that? When you do that, when you do that. If you want them on eBay, um, they're fantastic. Not bad, are they? Yeah. yeah. Anyway. There's lots you can do. You can do tricks under, under look, here. That's enough. You bought you bought Sharon again. I know look. why you've done that. What? You're going to put a bloody Tommy Coop rat on me, Ed. No. I know it. I'm no, gonna... I'm going to put one of these. I'm, I'm going to put one of these on you, Ed. What? Baby, we got to go, Sharon. Yeah, I'm going there. Bye, yeah. baby. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm paying, but I'm going out to suck me fruit ready for the Christmas cake. She's doing a Christmas cake, folks, in the little cassouri, isn't you? Right, I've got to go, baby. See you later. It's a cold day, Lee. It is a cold day. <laughs> it's a cold day. <laughs> Ta-da.
Oh, we got to check that tire. Oh no, we don't have to check the tire yeah, because it's, it's, it's automatic. Yeah. yeah. Hello, it's just gone off, Lee. Lee, it's yeah. just gone off. That's it then. Quick, Let's go and have a look. Quick, we have got to go. And there it was, folks, as if by magic. Look at that. Look. In actual fact, it's gone down two percent anyway, so we might have to pump it up again. Right, we're gonna get going, folks. See you in a minute. Right, folks. We're out at the Lincolnshire Wildlife Park, as you can see there. We just brought Evie and Harry along, and uh, we'll have a little look around here. Right, now these apparently are swearing African grey parrots. As you can see there, African greys. And they're a little bit noisy. Aren't you? You're a little bit noisy. You're going to swear for us? Sharon, they swear more than you. Not possible. I swear more than Nanny Evie. Yeah, we was going to the, um, is it Lincolnshire Aviation Park yeah. today with the uh, Lancaster bomber and that, but uh, that was shut. Oh, how pretty. Oh, he's California, look. Look at that one on the swing and all. Hello. Hello, you. Look at the colours on that. It's a female. Australia, they are. Australian. Oh, yeah, the female are the red and the green are the males. There you go. We didn't know that, baby, did we? No, not so I just read it on there. Yeah. There you go. Male and female, two totally different colours, look. So you're a little lady, you are. Huh? Good, eh? All hanging on, look. Hello. Look at you two up there, little ones. African great, and there's a big beaten... Is that like a macaw, isn't it, I think? You're like a macaw. Here's something you don't normally get to see, folks. Look, looking through this window. Look, all laid out, folks. All the different food for the different birds and stuff here, look. Ciao. They eat better than us. <laughs> I thought it was macaroni and cheese for a minute. Of course it is. Look at that, look. All great. Unbelievable. Back, look at it all. Well, hello. Look at you. How are you? Some of these have got red noses and some have got blue noses. Hello. Now oh, he's turned his back on me. Hello. He's saying hello, Sharon. Hello. Yeah. These are blue fronted Amazon parrots by the looks of it. Yellow crowned Amazon ones. Yeah. Mainly green, but they have a little blue feathers on the forehead. Oh, yeah, he's got red. Above the beak and yellow and on the face. He's coming out, Sharon. You got a chain, look. How comes he's out in the open like this? Might not be able to fly, mightn't it? Hello. Hello. Look at you. Where are you it'll going? Flying, it'll so go is on his your feet, head. look. I know, look. Where are you going? Is he putting you on the camera? Hello. Do you want royalties? No, he's not boxed in that one, folks, look. There's another one inside. You can actually it? walk out, look. You're, you can touch it, Shell. I don't think I want to. No. He'll have your bleating fingers off, Shell. Hey. Two birds together there, look. <laughs> hey. You're very, very handy. Aren't you? I don't want to see your bum. Oh, hello. Shell. What? Did you know that parrots have a near to human lifespan and often outlive their owners? Did you know that? I did know they have a long lifespan. I think the oldest African grey was oh, probably about 55 years old. And there was a Major Mitchell's cockatoo <laughs> in uh, Chicago that lived to 82 years old. How do you know that? Because it says so there. Look. Still alive? Still there, look. That's how I know. See, Harry? That's how clever your granddad is. Granddad was a fan yeah, you just read it off. I've just read it off? Of course I didn't. I knew it. There we go. Look at these little things. He's just sucking on that grape, Mark. He's having a grape, is he? Look. Isn't that nice? Hey? Just come into this enclosure, folks, and you can actually walk around with the parrots. And they're all around you. Oh, look! Yeah. What's that? Hello? The pigeon's saying, why is no one looking at me, the pigeon out there? Look. <laughs> That's a pea hen there, look. Female peacock, I think, isn't it, Sharon? Here's a little one over here, folks. Look. Hello. What are you eating? What are you eating? I know, you're colourful, aren't you? <laughs> Evie, look at this one, look. He's having a little nibble, look. Don't normally get this close to him, folks. See if he has that, Evie. He likes a bit of that true, isn't it? My mate used to work in a pet shop, Evie. He got, he got uh, sacked. Yeah? You know why? 
He got caught with his hands in the trill. Anyway. My bird looking at that bird, look. Oh. Well, he's flying off. See you, Shay, you frighten him off. Oh, look at that, he likes that, you look. Got a mouthful of that, any? He wants that, he's flew over for that. Yeah, look. <laughs> he's got it. Come in, folks, let's go elsewhere. Just looking at uh, Nigel, folks. Nigel is a Puma Con, con Color. But he's in here, apparently he's had severe arthritis and he's had a leg off. I don't know if you can just see him down in the corner there. Like just down there, he's laying there. You can't, his you can't really see him properly. I just said to the kids, I said, what's his diet? What did I say his diet was, Harry? Okay, Look, he's a carnivore. So that one's and he eats open. deer, horses, elk, cattle and sheep. Horses. Evie, that's why there's no deer, cattle, horses and sheep around here. That's why we can't find the reindeer. <laughs> Nigel's at them. Yeah, so we're walking through to the other wildlife now, folks. We, uh, lo we, we, we only skipped across the parrots and birds and stuff like that. There's literally hundreds of stuff here for them. So we're just coming around to some other bits now. There's a lion. Eh? A lion, Sharon? Where? Just on the top of that um, platform you there, look. two of them there, Mark? Yeah, I can see two of them, yeah. And they eat pumas. Nigel. That's why they've got to keep them separate, Harry. So it's not just a... Uh, like a little zoo place folks it's got this a nature walk incorporated on it it's like all the whole layout is all mapped out for you to walk along and it keeps the kids interested as well there's a um, halloween trail which we're doing at the moment Sharon, aren't we oh yeah it's a nature walk where they've there. got to find the uh, pumpkins all around the place which have got letters written on them and at the end it makes up a word or something i don't know oh uh, is that where the bees go been bees stung, stung. <laughs> oops here's what to do keep calm and remove the stinger wash it with soap and cool water apply a cold compress so we can really do, I suppose, folks. And it says option X. Bees don't normally sting you, it's wash that sting you anyway. I have been stung by a bee once, and it's when I was on my RD250 driving through Richmond Park, and I felt a boof on my leg. And when I looked down, it left a sting in, just in my jeans, and the trail of its guts and that was a... So they, they don't actually sting with a little sting like a wasp. I think when they sting you, they die, because it pulls their guts out and all that. So, uh, yeah, bees don't normally sting unless they're threatened as a last resort well, I hope so. as you can see folks it's sort of autumn now and uh, all the leaves are now falling and uh, this is just that little nature walk within that uh, park we're in nice to get out folks and it's actually pretty warm out today funny enough although there's a bit of wind and hopefully you can't hear it too much on the uh, microphone but uh, yeah there's a lot of wind about Bengal Gardens folks I wonder what's in here got any ideas something tells me it's going to be tigers there you go, folks. I don't know which one that is, but he's pacing about up there, look. He's, out, he's got his mouth open, Yeah. Look at the size of him. Enormous. He'll eat you for dinner. <laughs> Nanny, he'll have you for dessert. Wow. <laughs> be full up there, wouldn't it? <laughs> Here's the rest of them, folks, look. There's their little wall of fame there, look, we got. Read the names out, shall you? No. Go on, read their names out. I just said to her, we were around the corner, folks. Let's say this one. She says, Oh, look, there's some Madagascars there. Listen, they, they were lemurs, ring tailed lemurs, and they was from Madagascar. She was calling it the name on the map. Unbelievable. So, what have we got here? She Sheba? Sheba? That one? Then. Scar, no, is it? Is the S silent, Sharon? That's car, is it? Scar, scar. Hold on, Shell. Then we got Sultana. Then we got Dira. Then you got what? You only know that because it's the name of a tweeny, Sharon. Lajuka and Basara, maybe. There you go. They're all the ones here, folks. So don't forget, if you want to see the lemurs, there's one. They're not, they're not lemurs. They're called Madagascans. <laughs> So this is the lining at Tiger Enclosure, folks. Well, they're in there somewhere, Sharon. They're probably hiding in the bushes. Yeah, folks, look at these, look. Sharon hates these. There we go, look. Look at them three together, look. They ain't gonna fight, are they, look? They're not gonna fight, are they? No, one's backing away, look. He's coming over here, look. Oh, no. Shower your favourite, they're turtles, not tortoises. 
What are they? Otters? Yeah. There's a few Madagascars over there, Shay. Oh, they're from Madagascar. Hey? <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, hello, Pampas grass. What animals are they, Shay? Whatever they are, they're bleating swingers. And they're dirty little meerkats. Dirty little meerkats. Hey, folks. Meerkats are swingers. There they are, look. They're going Of course they are. They live in the Wild West, Sharon, look. Look at them, look. I really can, look, look. Yeah. Little meerkats living in the Wild West over there, look. Shell, I feel as sick as a parrot. <laughs> look at them, look. Unbelievable, look. Look at you, eh? They're all coming down, look. Hello. And then look, hello. What time's dinner? What time's in dinner? Funny, isn't ya? Hey? Eh? Oh, we ain't got much fur as you're showing, look. He's shivering, love him. Hey? He's been picked on, Shower. He's camera shy. Oh, no, no, he wants it now, look. Of course he does. He's a little monkey thing, isn't he? Mama's it, is it? Yeah. Look at him, look. Look. He's lovely, isn't he? Little face on it, look. Hello. Got some plums on him, shall I? Look. What you found? Another pumpkin? Oh, it is another letter, folks. Look. The letter. Is it R, Evie? Yeah, R. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is this one? You've missed one? You can't have missed one, surely not. Let's look at what you got. I ain't going around again. I think they've missed one, folks. I don't think they have. It's reindeer. Reindeer? Oh, it could be, yeah. It's a pencil. Do a bit of cheating, Nanny. Uh, yeah, it's reindeer, isn't it? They're all in a different letter, aren't they? Different order. I said that. R, E. You said Halloween. Eh? You said Halloween. I meant the letters will be in a different order. How do you spell reindeer? R, E, I, N, D, E, E, R. Sorted? Hey? Yeah, yeah R E I N D E E R. That's your answer. There's a chance you can win a prize, folks. So, I mean, we should have half of that prize anyway, me and Nanny for helping you out. Exit to the Rainforest so Diner and Gift Shop. Do we have at the park? Oh, how do we? I'm not counting them, Evie. Uh, more than 100. Not counting them. Right, well, we're going to go inside now, folks, and have a cup of tea. And we'll see you a bit later on. So this is the cafeteria folks, you want some uh, refreshments in and they've got little bugs at the table and things like that, shall they? <laughs> no, not at there, I mean they can't get to you. So we just bought a Diet Coke, that's a large one believe it or not, and that's come to £2. Do you want to have actual coffee? Or? How much is the coffee, How baby? Much do you think coffee I don't know, shall one pound fifty. I have three pounds twenty-five. You're joking. Do you want coffee? That's the only trouble, folks. We did actually bring a picnic and it out, it out stuff outside, didn't we? But we just thought we'd just get a little drink in here, and unfortunately, how much is it all come to? You've got a bird! £16 for three Kit Kats. And have got three. Two bottles of drink. Mm. But my large Coke, Diet Coke, and tea and a coffee. And Unbelievable. Got three. There you go. We'll just do it. It's a day out, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we just bought our own sandwiches, so we Yeah, just sold that. We just said that. We bought our own food, folks. It's always yeah. wise if you do go out. £5.50 for a sandwich. Oh, the trees around here. Unbelievable. I'm sorry, that's a hot sandwich. Of course it is. Yeah. I'd want it being served by a waitress and cut and fed to me, Shay, for that, buddy. Anyway, we're going to have this, folks. We'll see you a little bit this later on. Who knows what we'll be doing? Hey, Shay. Sorry? Who knows what we'll be doing later? Who knows? See you later, folks. Say bye, everybody. And we thought we'd just uh, have a cheeky takeaway just to see what it's like. Haven't had this for a while, long quite a while. To show you what we've ordered. So we've got uh, two chicken rings as extras. We've got two mini fillet burgers. We've got a regular fries, regular tango. The 20 hot wing bucket for 5 99 And I've gone for four fillet pieces on their own. Chips. Got a large beans, large 7-up. I've got the meal, there's only one chips and I asked for chips and a drink with this. There's a portion of chips missing. So we've got... Beans, regular meal, seven up three, beans. Yeah, there's no regular fries on there, you have to go and get the regular fries, yeah. So we miss, take that with you. 
So we're missing the regular fries. It's not hard, folks, is it? We were the only people in here at the time, so we're literally the first order, so it's all nice and fresh. And already there's a mistake. So, yeah, as you can see, there's these little mini burgers. There. You have them plain, Harry, didn't you? So you get yours out then. Nanny has a Zinger meal. That's five ninety nine. 99 that, folks. That's 20 wings, hot wings, spicy wings. They look pretty decent, to be honest with you. I do hate it when you just get the little ones, you know? And also, I've got a large beans there as well, which I had to go back and ask for, because they didn't put that on the order either. Right, so Nanny's just come back. You've got your fries now. And uh, it's probably new staff show, I would imagine, because uh, they're not familiar with the, uh, the setup. So there we go. There's the four... Uh, you have mine. There's the four fillets. You've got 20 there. You yeah, eight? Them two. I've got what? You've got 20 in there, you don't need I know, need them yeah, two. I know. Well, I was doing the 10 of them normally for uh, five, I think they're going for. So she's gone for the Zinger Burger meal, and the chips are a lot better, I find, the McDonald's chips, mm. you know. They look a more substantial chip than they. They've got the skin on no more. Hey? They used to have the skin yeah, on. Yeah, they was doing skin, these chips. I'm not eating the chips at the moment, folks. And what's that like, Harry? I'm going for the. Yeah, yeah. I like to put a bit of mayo on the plate and just dip it in there and some little go like this. Mm. I do like their chicken when it's done correctly. This stuff's nice and dry. Yeah. Got a good coating of um, spice on it. I've had these before. Especially when they're freshly cooked and they come out and the oil's not really up to temperature. They are very, very fatty and oily. But when the oil's at the right temperature, you find they come out actually dry, so that's a good thing. So, there we go. Let's try one of these spicy wings. And I do like when you get the wings like that because they're like a little drumstick. So let's have a go at this. Wouldn't know. Hmm? <laughs> I said I wouldn't know, imagine it's getting cold. <laughs> and again, not greasy or oily. Nice and dry, so they've been cooked in a nice hot oil. And you whip that coat in, you get that little spicy afterburn, which is quite nice. Anyway, let's see Sharon. Let her have a little go now, because we're doing this getting cold. Yeah, it's been four minutes thirty-five so far. What is it, baby? Four minutes thirty-five. Mm. Now that food's hot. Go on, you try them. Probably yeah, yours are right, but mine are like that, isn't it? Yeah, well, there's two parts of the wing shell. But that's got plenty of meat on that one, hasn't it? Have a look. Yeah, there's a lot of meat on that, and again, it's cooked properly. Any good? Very nice. Yep. So in total, folks, that all come to £26.52. And uh, that's why we do cook a lot of our food at home, Sharon, isn't it? It's a lot of money, isn't it? Bearing in mind, there's only three of us. So these are the beans, folks. You've got wooden spoons now, look. Which must be a new thing. It's not plastic, is it? Eh? Not plastic? No. They used to do these with a bit of a barbecue taste. I don't know whether they still do or not, but... The beans are always roasting hot in here, Sharon, aren't they? Mm. But they're okay. Wooden spoons, as I said. And uh, let's have a little look in here. Look. Definitely won't be able to finish all them in one sitting, folks. It's normally probably for two people, Sharon, it? Mm. And I've got my uh, little chicken fillet burgers here. Not burgers, what are they called? Strips. Mmm. And I don't have the fries, folks, obviously, so. I'll try one of the other wings, the, not the drumstick type, the more middle part of the wing. Yes, again, plenty of meat on them. Nice and hot, crispy coating. All in all, it's quite a good portion, actually, Chef. Very good. Right. Well, there's a channel on YouTube, folks, called Beard Meets Food. Beard, as in beard, Sharon? I know what beard is. Do you, Eric? Adam. Adam Moran, I think his name is. And uh, he does food challenges and stuff. And he's only a skinny little chap. And he eats an absolute mass of food. And I know there is a record for eating, like Kentucky or KFC 
wings. I don't know what it is, but all I'm saying is I've had three fillets, no, four fillets. I've had three quarters of a tub of beans. And I've had one, two, three, four, five wings so far. And I'm just about to start with six out of 20. And I'm stuffed already. <laughs> How does he do it, Sharon? God knows. You've seen it, haven't you? You've watched no. it quite a lot. Yeah, yeah see, it's my fun there. This, uh, I was watching him last night, funny enough. But I'm just thinking, what would I give this out of 10? Go on, Very hard. That was one of the worst Philip burgers, Zinger burgers I've ever had. It was rubbery. And I'd be kind. And I'd give that a four. Well, to be honest with you, I think this is one of the better ones. The chicken's hot, the chicken's got plenty of flavour in it, the spicing is perfect, the coating is not over greasy. Normally I've had it before where you've had to get the tissue papers and literally like that and we just squeeze and squeeze and yes there's a bit on there but I've had that where these cloths have been absolutely saturated especially when you go for the sort of regular chicken but this is fine. They're absolutely fine in my eyes. So and there was hardly any chips. Well, that's yeah, well, what you, Harry had you, was a regular you, fries. You don't tend to get a lot of chips in these places. No. I've noticed that as well. So, um, yeah, I think that's just the standard norm for every, everywhere now. But, uh, yeah, I'm getting stuffed, folks. I think I'll have one more and we've got all them left over. So they'll be coming home with us anyway. Thank God for that. Because Sharon loves like tuck, tucking the stuff. How do they eat all them food? How does beard meats food eat all them? I've had that, Sharon. I've stuffed. Amazing. I don't know he does it, but then again, he doesn't drink loads. He well, he sips. has sips, yeah. Yeah, he has sips, whereas well, I've nearly drunk this. Yeah. Anyway, looks like they're coming home with us, folks. And you don't mind picking on them, to be honest with you, do you? Later no, I only, I only like them. Really, that's all I like. I don't know why I just eat the burger. We very rarely come here, to be honest with you, folks. It's only that we're out and about. And uh, we've just been shopping, so it did cost us nearly £27 for this lot and we could have had something when we got in but there you go that's what we do the old takeaway now and again shouldn't hurt you but we've been eating kfc for years and years now just like everybody else of a certain age i remember having this when we was in our teens and here we are still eating it now i know people say it's not all that good for you but uh right so we're in boston town center folks now some smoke going on over there i don't know what that is yeah so that's the kfc folks we've just been to there only little one's been there for years and years so there's a lot of uh, activity over here, I don't know what it is, and a lot of smoke, so we're going to have a little look to see what that's all about. I don't know, what is it? Oh, it's jugglers and things, isn't it? Ride the pumpkin. There we go. What is it, ride the pumpkin, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. you having a go? You look like the pumpkin shell. Dressed like that. Oh, you right, me. You can't say that. Yeah, <laughs> I'll let cut that out now. Yeah, yeah that's the uh, stump, folks. They called that the stump. <laughs> Many years ago, Sharon, he used to say he built that Jimmy, didn't he? Yeah, Jimmy, oh, look at the bird's nest. When he was about two years old, we used to carry him, and when we get to about here, we look up at that church uh, steeple, and Jimmy used to point and said, I built that. Well, how old was he? About two years old? Two or three, yeah. Two or three years old. And he kept it up for years, just He it? kept it up for years, yeah. To the, to the extent, shall we, I started to believe him. This is a nice shopping place, but there's nothing here now. No, it used to be busy, didn't it, Shell? Yeah, all, all local shops, all closing, that baby. It used to be Marks and Spencers. What, over here? Poundland, yeah. Is it Marks and Spencers? It was. Yeah, so we're just, there, we're just out and about, folks, just having a little walk around. We've just been to uh, Lidl, that's why we're here. Don't normally go in this sort of shop, but um, we'll have a little go now. So, technically speaking, when these places first opened, everything used to be a pound show, didn't it? But it's not anymore, is it? A lot of the stuff's still a pound. But, where's that come from? Four pound land? Oh, we want some of them big D batteries, shall we? We forgot to get some of them for our heater, the ignition system on our heater. Might as well get them for two pounds, Sharon. You right? Got that? So this is a modern pound land, folks. This looks more like a superstore now, doesn't it, Sharon? Oh, we've got some cooking stuff here, Sharon. What's that little dish at the top there for a five-out oblong one? 
<coughs> no, we're going in there Friday, wasn't it's it? It's only small though, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's one or two people that food, isn't it? Now, shall I look? Pep and Co. That's probably not Poundland, is it? So someone else renting out their space, probably. <coughs> A lot of people like walking around shops with us, Sharon. Don't walk into people. Don't walk into people. I suppose that's too bad. Feed the birds in the winter, Sharon, is it? Look. No. The old fat balls for a pound or something. No, and some, I suppose they'd even eat the guinea pig food, shall, wouldn't they, the birds? They'd eat anything, wouldn't they? Really? Hey? If they're hungry, they'll eat anything. Of course they will. So, first of all, you've got Halloween to deal with, shall, where you can buy Christmas tree, well, Halloween lights and stuff like that. What's that? It's a bit eerie, isn't it? And then you've got, um, over the other side, just over here, you've got the Christmas stuff being put out as well, so you've got to spend it all again, because you can't use the Halloween stuff, shall? For Christmas. What's that we what got there? For Charlotte, she can't find her hole. Hole punch. Might get in the bag, baby. All down there, shout. We don't buy none of that stuff, do we? No cakes, biscuits, chocolate, any of that stuff, folks. I know it's Christmas and that, but uh, our day to day food doesn't include any of this stuff whatsoever. And nor this stuff. This is all your cereals and stuff. We don't eat none of that. Oh, there we go. Two pound note. That's a bigger one than we saw the other day, though, wasn't it? Frey bent yeah, look, they want 75 in here, they horrible things. Yeah, well, it says meaty pud there, steak and kidney. And these used to be really, really nice, folks. You know, if you've probably seen these in our latest, or one of our latest videos where we cook that, it feels heavy, but I think it's because it's a metal tin, Sharon. Do you reckon that's like that salt and pepper seasoning, look? Salt and Chinese chili salt and chilli pepper, maybe, I don't know. There you go. Who's that? They've got that stewed steak in here, look. Yeah, how much is it in here? Two quid. Someone said in the video, Shao, that uh, that pie we cooked when we done the Frey Bentos, we the home cooked one. No, we was doing pie out of a tin versus pie out of a tin. Just te testing. Yeah. Were these as good as they used to be? And they obviously ain't, unless you make your own pie in a tin. <laughs> well, not really, Shao. I'll put it in the tin. Of course you did. It was so nice. Yeah. I tell you what, people, this is nice. What is it? At Mayflower, I don't think they've got that. Um, oh, I don't know. Yes, they have, haven't they? We've showed them this before, haven't we? Oh, I didn't know. We didn't know they'd done them in here. Yeah, no. There, if you get a nice. chance, folks, have a go at them. They're fantastic. As good as a takeaway. Won't fill you up though, but it's fantastic. Uh, what? No Chinese, though, Sharon. No, we've been having the Chinese, but the portion size, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, look, pizza pockets. Look. Pizza pockets. Yeah, you make your own for. A fraction of that. <laughs> yeah, look, yeah, look, we're coming in and saved a few bob folks. Look, <laughs> look, someone fried chicken. Look, <laughs> trouble with this lot, here, folks. It's all partially cooked when you when you like buy it, but they're all cooked in vegetable oh, oils and rapeseed oil, which really isn't very good for you. Never seen that before. Anyway, oh, we are. Look at them. I know they'd probably be pumped full of water, shall but get one out. Let's have a look. That'll go in your air fryer, wouldn't it? £2.25, it's yeah. cheaper to buy in hand, though. It's probably, um... Yeah, look, we've added water. It probably shrinked out to nothing virtually, but, um... Yeah? Yeah. Go to McDonald's, go to the big snack. Yeah. Stack. yeah. Not Whack that back in there. There we go. Yeah, not a place we normally come, folks, but, uh... We thought we'd come around here. And, uh, just give you a little bit of a shower around. Hey, we don't know we're coming here, do we? Yeah, right, we're now in Horncastle, folks, and we're at the cake shop because I've convinced her we're going to be decorating our Christmas cake after wee, all. Wee. Of course, I'll have a go. Wee, like so we've got a little cake shop here. Let's go in and have a look in the window. Right, here we go. Now, I wanted to do this in sort of a, a retro way, baby. We're looking for sort of vintage cake decorations. You might have them inside Christmas, since yeah. all Halloween down here at the moment. Yeah, it's all sort of window, shop windows, all for Halloween at the moment, isn't it? And she has some lovely things yeah. there. See, look, is your ready made things there? Look, sugar paste already made. Yeah. I oh, like an easy way out. I want a bit of marzipan pan around it as well, baby. Yeah, weird. Need a cake board. Right, what have we got here, eh? Hey? Cake board. Yeah. What, do you need a cake board? Oh, you do, Christmas. Of course you do. What colour? Red for Christmas? Red or green's vintage, isn't it? That's, that looks about the right size, Sharon. She'll measure it for me. Anyway. I can see that's the right size, like a seven inch single. Yeah? What is that size then? That's a ten inch, I would say. Because you need a bit of. Don't you? Well, you can put some stuff around the outside if yeah. you want, it's up to you, isn't it? 
we'll go for the good red for Christmas. Yep. Yeah. I want a little, like, maybe a little cottage and a father Christmas, maybe. You know? I have to ask where a Christmas bits are. Yeah. Look at this, folks, a real old fashioned shop. Look at all these here, that's got all the cakes. That's what I was looking at. Oh, yeah, these are modern ones, though, aren't they? I suppose a lot of people make their things. Yeah, not all to go on top of cakes, folks. Look. There must be a Christmas section. There's some uh, holly down there, don't worry for. That's a box, love. Of course it is. There we go. Oh, that's in there. What? Oh, that's good luck and things like that. Happy birthday. Yeah. Free pea. Where'd you get things of free pea? Yeah, look at all this. All, all glitter and stuff. Look. Fantastic. Ribbon. Ribbon's over here. Right, and they need. What colour river? Ribbon. Hello. What colour ribbon, baby? Christmasy one, one with Christmas on it. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, oh, the old tartan nice. sort of stuff. I like that sort of, this stuff here, look. This sort of tartan looking stuff, look. That's very Christmas cake of the uh, 80s and 70s, isn't it? Well, that one, yeah, that's a nice That'd one. That's nice with the red. I should get the red. Yeah, to go get with that. The red. That's nice. Look at that. Look at that colour combination, folks. Look. That one's nicer. That one. Yeah, have a go at that then. I can reach that. What's that? You've just seen one up there, haven't you? Yeah, this is one. Let's have a look at this one. It's got Merry Christmas on it. Have a look at that. Hold that open. Let's have a look. Spin it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's the, one. the one. That's the one. That's the one, baby. Put the other ones back. Too much choice, sir. No. Fires your imagination. Look what it's just done to you. Oh, see there, look. What? Reindeers. Reindeers. Well, you don't want two rope ribbons around it, do you? No, but... Oh, there's a little Father Christmas is Sharon, look. Oh, we all right. Yeah, we're yeah. just having a look. We're going to take some... With the intention to buy. <laughs> <laughs> do you buy that by the metre, is it? Or... Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's all stuff here. Oh, look. Yeah, you've got to have a couple of little soldiers, Sharon. Oh, you can, uh, look, we can buy them individually, Martin. Eh? You can buy the Christmas trees individually. Of course you can. It's all there for you, isn't it? Look, and one of them. A vintage cake always had that on it. How much of this would you like? Me too. <sighs> yeah, it's only for a seven inch cake. Oh, Is that a ten inch board, that one, Mother? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was. Hello? Oh, usually, what's for dinner? Oh. <laughs> hmm. What's this, Sharon? Oh, post box. Yeah. Did you put a Christmas tree? No, I haven't put nothing. I left it all to you. Oh. Get one of those happy Christmas signs as well. They always had them one, didn't they? Vintage cakes. Mm. Not that you would know. You're not old enough, are you? <laughs> and my dad you always used to decorate the Christmas cake because mum couldn't dice okay. and we used to sit round the table and watch him and it's funny isn't it how you yeah. remember things yeah. yeah for a seven inch cake yeah have you got almond paste marzipan you stuffy uh, if I've got something down in this corner that was a uh... It's all right to get it now, isn't it? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. How do you do it? That's rock hard, isn't it? How does that work out? How do you work that? Take the... it uh, out the wrapper. Yeah. And just leave it somewhere. Oh, it will, it will soften it'll up, soften up, will it? soften up, yeah. Yeah. Is that enough? Uh, if you don't want it real thick, yeah. What's the next size up, then? There is an You get two. Yeah. Are they £2.50 each? Yeah. I just get enough one, sure. It doesn't matter, does it? What's the worst that can I happen? I could that for your brother Sarah, I've got you some fudge. That looks like a block of fudge, doesn't it? <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? We'll have to make another one. You've got a little house. Or oh, a little house. Christmas cottage or something. Oh, no. Oh. I'm really struggling for this sort of stuff. And you'd think that they will be able to get it. Yeah. Well, two soldiers in the front. That's all right, isn't it? What well, you got there is all right. I didn't get the soldier because I thought the soldier was a bit modern. No, it's not. Toy soldiers was always a thing, wasn't it? Oh, there's a Father Christmas now standing up. No, he's better down the chimney, surely. Chimney. Jesus Christ, Sharon. <laughs> that's a trouble. So you've got so much choice, yeah, you don't know what you want to do. A couple of them, that's all right. Yeah, that's good. A bit of holly. Yeah, a bit of holly. Put, put, put a bit of holly on so it. You've got to have a bit of holly on. Always got to have a bit of holly. About ten years ago, the actual machine that makes those broke down. All right. And it's in the Philippines, and all the, the uh, cake decorating um, uh, companies got together to buy them new 
buy him a new machine. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> on that little story, I thought I'm going to buy her. I'll be yeah, you've talked her into one. What, yeah. what a saleswoman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you actually do cake. You yeah, make cakes as well, don't you? Yeah. You actually make them. I think we've had them from here before, shall not we? That's sort of cake. Look, a block of plant of polystyrene. It's all done for that. Yeah, polystyrene cake. Hey? Eh? Shout out. Ours is a real one, baby. I love little shops like that. Yep, there you go, folks. Little family run business. That one's been there for years. In fact, they've actually made us cakes, as I said, haven't they? Cake we've, had, we've lived here 22 Two. years, and yeah. they've always done our cakes. Yeah. Right. Uh, time to go home because we've got some thank yous to give haven't we we sure have someone sent us a few little things and uh we've had a, a few super thanks. a super thanks as well so we see you in a flash well there you go folks quite a varied week there baby we've done quite a lot of you this week yeah and can i just say something to all you people that hate him calling me baby yesterday he called me darling that made me cringe so baby haters baby staying darling's never entering so just so that you know he tried to change it and it no I didn't try to change it, no. she had just come out. Yeah, darling, I'm not darling. I went, hello, darling. No, you said something. I can't remember what and I said, yeah. I've got in a bit of... It just comes out, folks, and naturally. I, thought, I don't like that. We come from a generation when the word baby was in a term of endearment, so um, quite a lot of you are from the same era, and I think it's only the younger people it gets to, I know, but uh, anyway, forget about that. I'll call you Sharon when I can, and I'll call you baby if it comes out naturally. That's just the way it is. When I do something wrong. When the camera's not rolling. <laughs> anyway, we got we got some thanks to give out, folks. We've got some super thanks. Who have we got, Sharon? We've got Dylan Hutchinson. So Thank you very much, Dylan. John Lord. Thank you very much, John. Jules W. And thanks to you too, Jules. And Katie Tarlin. And Katie Tarlin. I do recognise Katie as one of our newest subscribers, Sharon. Thank you very much. And I just noticed as well that we're getting quite a lot of subscribers from Australia and also New Zealand. So, hi, everybody from Down Under. And I think their time... Oh, their time... It's totally different now, isn't it? There's a certain dog here that's trying to be in on it because oh, he can't. knows I've he's got, getting got a few fans. Yeah, come here, Merlin. Look, coming up. up he up, says, "I want to be in on it." There, there he is. Look. There's the baby. There he is. Look, he gets his manhood off on the eighth. No, he's manhood, shall well, he's, he's, he's crown balls. jewels. He's ball balls. He's crown jewels. On the 8th of November. He won't be jumping up like this anyway. that day, will he? Yeah, oh, so God. we hope you've enjoyed the video, folks. Oh, hang on, no, we've what? got a thank you, because oh. we've got something off our wish list. Oh, right, OK. This is, hi, Martin and Sharon, been watching your channel for years. You've saved me money and lots of things, from changing brakes on cars to lawnmower repairs. So I wanted to give, give you a gift back. Hope you enjoy them. Thanks from Neil G. The OG. And they're bleak massive and all shell. <laughs> Look at them. I'm taking out the cardboard. He actually went to put his hands in them. The I cardboard. did actually, yeah, I know, Shell. I didn't feel I, I thought it was just gonna come Ooh. off, you see. We've not actually opened it, you see, no. so. We always oh, wait that, till we do the In video. actual fact, they're actually lined as well, Sharon. And when you put your hand in, they're actually quite tight. Put your hand in, go on. Have a go. They're not as big as they look, folks. Inside they're quite no! Merlin, get, you know he's not Get down. And he said, I thought get these down. Actually, they're not, are they? No. I'm thinking. Get down. <laughs> get down. They're not for you. The air fryer. It smells quite nice. I was thinking Silicone. the air, fr air fryer. Yeah, getting stuff out of the air fryer. Anyway, so we have talked her into getting that cake decorated, folks, as you well know. So um, that will be coming up nearer to Christmas. So um, keep your eyes out for that one. But we've got some. Um, old-fashioned sort of recipes coming your way hey, as well. I've asked for mince pies. Now, quick thing if you'd like to or not, would you like me to make my own mince meat? Because I have got a recipe for that. If you want that, that will have to be done soon because I think it has to like, rest for a bit. Oh, so if know. you want that, let me know. I don't know, Chef. It's a lot of asshole, isn't it? No, it's not, actually. It's very, very simple. Oh, well. It's just as simple to pick it off the shelf, isn't it? And then jazz it up a bit with your own um, brandy or whatever and... and put nuts in it or cherries and all that so it's, it's up to you but if you'd like i it. think it's one of those jobs where it's a bit of a faff and you it's just as it's like pastry you, you say about buying a puff pastry in that puff pastry, you can yeah, make it, it you, make well it. you can make it but it's just as easy to just go down the road and buy it already made it's cutting all the cubes up and folding it then folding yeah, it yeah i know folding it. it's a lot into well i think it's pastry. the same with making mincemeat i don't think it's really worth it to be honest with you but anyway Ooh. that's just my opinion who am i Ooh. apparently i'm the one who does nothing someone said i don't do anything in the videos Ooh. I said, well, who do you think designs the videos? Who do you think edits the videos? Who does all this work? Who do you think does all the bleak, putting it all together, putting the music in the right places, cutting out all the other stuff, uploading, doing the fun now? I only weigh the ingredients out and mix it. Of course it I don't do anything. In the oven. So and, I've got the easy job, and really. They also say that, oh, 
Stop talking. Let Sharon do some more talking. Tell them why you don't talk on the camera, Sharon. I don't really like it. I don't mind this because it's quite relaxing. I don't want to do it when I'm cooking because I'm in cooking zone. Yeah, so that's the whole reason, folks. Anyway, apart from that, a little bit of negativity there. I like to keep it on a positive. And yeah. all I'm saying is if we're, we're planning this year on doing another Christmas show. Now, we have done it for the last two years. And if you go back in our playlists, you'll see our Christmas live stream. I think they're in the, the live stream, and we do sketches and stuff like that. I Which I really, really hate, people. She does. So we we done the ABBA sketches, you well know. I we... didn't mind ABBA because I love ABBA, but the one who wants me to do this shit, not happy. <laughs> not happy one little bit. Yeah, you'll love it. I don't, no, I won't. A lot of you will actually be aware of this. I can't I... even stand the person. Yeah, well, you, you're going to be doing it anyway. So keep an eye out for that. If I can get the time, because we are pushing out far many more videos than what we used to push out, if I can get the time to design a Christmas show with like sketches in and stuff like just that. Just get Lee round. You're all lovely. You don't need me. Just get no, Lee round and do your silly sketches. We all play a part in our videos, as you well know. I do, I do this bit. Lee's got his own following as well. And don't forget, people, if you don't know Lee Van Camp. Oh, hang on, people. He's the other chap who appears in my video as well. Where are you I, going now? Yeah, do check out Lee Van Camp as well. I'll leave his link in the video just below this. He's an old boy like us. He's 63, I think he is. And uh, he, he's quite a funny chap as well. And he's trying to get his YouTube channel going as well, showing stuff of our generation, you know, and the sort of things that we like to see as well. So, what you, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, baby. Uh, just want to remind people, those that weren't with us last Sunday, you can buy these. There's a link at the bottom of our, what's it called? Description. Description underneath the video. Very good. You can get different designs. She's now done silver ones. If you've got like a silver kitchen or grey kitchen, she's doing all different colour backgrounds. So go along and have, you haven't got to have that up there. These are the, dessert, uh, the the conversion charts for using your air fryer. If you're new to air frying and you want just some sort of baseline idea, because when you look at a packet of uh, whatever, like ready meal or something that's cooked in, the, in a normal oven or a microwave, you want to convert it over to a, an air fryer. This just gives you a, a visual glance quickly. An uh, A5, which is half that size as well. If you've where, got where, a where you have kitchen, you don't need a lot of space. Where you should be, uh, where you should be uh, uh, putting your yeah. times, basically. It's just handy, wipe clean, brilliant idea. So again, in the description below this video, you'll see the link to Stacey's Bang. shops and uh, she's got all them also, the T-shirts are there if you want T-shirts. Merlin, stop scratching the door. You can have hoodies as well, she does. So pop along to that little shop in the link below and see if there's anything you want. Christmas presents. Christmas is coming. And also check out our other channel as well, which is Retro Restore. Yeah. That's where I fix stuff and repair stuff and basically do stuff, which I've done for years and years. And uh, that's a growing channel as well. I've been, doing, I've been doing it for about 10 years. There's Project Man who's in the middle of converting a van into a camper van. What's he got? That's our oh. son's channel, yeah. Project Man. Just some extra viewing for you if you're interested, folks. And don't forget, keep watching our weekly videos. Do have a little binge watch. Quite a lot of you are doing that now of our previous videos. And someone said that they started watching it and, and it was three o'clock in the morning, show. And also coming up will be a trip to London with Evie and Harry to see the Christmas lights. We don't know if Gary and Stacey are coming yet, but that's a little day out trip. See the Christmas lights in London. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. And thank you for joining us on our little live chat box, which is that side, I think. Uh, if, if you're interested. It no, it's that side, Sharon, definitely. And we'll see you in the next video. And until then. Bye. Bye for now. That's a lovely cup of tea, Sorry, baby. Like, share and subscribe, people. Trouble with all your talking. That's gone cold. I have to have another one. Don't your legs work? Baby. <laughs>